Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another boobage video. In today's video, guys, we just made it up to rank 19 on the uh, on the live stream over on Chicken Gaming. If you haven't subscribed there, that's where we do all the live streams whenever it's a fun time to be streaming. So if you want to check that channel out, make sure you subscribe to it. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to get into, we got a sick base that is probably the best one or one of the best ones at 4ER. Uh, we're going to go over the tech tree, the attack strategy, everything like that. Guys, you haven't already, appreciate you if you subscribe to the channel. And also, don't forget to use that code chicken in the shop. Uh, I forget when our next shop drop is. I think it's, it might be around the time that this video comes out, actually. Um, I think we have 100,000, um, or no, we got the free keys yesterday. So I think it'll be a few more days, we'll get 100,000 tokens or something like that. Which is, you know, not a lot, but uh, it'll definitely be nice to have this season. All right, so let's go over where we're at. So what did we do today that allowed us to get up to rank 19? That was maxing barrage. Maxing barrage was huge because it allowed us to bar uh, to, to well, it's not bark, it's not barrage artillery, but it allowed us to barrage down an engine room, which really increased our attack times and just made the attacks a lot more consistent. What I did next was I actually got machine guns and we got those up to rank three. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, the purpose of the machine gun really is just to have an extra building on your base. Um, so it's going to, you know, it's, it's nice for warrior rushes too, which are very strong right now. Um, but it's nice to have the machine gun because it, it's just an extra building for the bombers to shoot at. Next, what we want to do is we want to grab that troop damage. Also, uh, we are currently do, 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 215 globally. So we're looking pretty sweet right about now. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, and we're not going crazy on the attacks. 290, that's not uh, nearly as many as we had last season around this time. So that's good. But um, yeah. So yeah, this base is awesome. And um, let's go over the attack next. Uh, but da, 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 da. Let's try to find one where... Uh, we played it well. 250. That's a good... This was a good hit. I think this guy's... Well, this guy's base was kind of strange. So, a couple different ways to do this. Now, uh, there's basically... Um, what what I've been trying to do is basically I, I clear out kind of the, the first two lines of defenses. And then from there, do some sort of dead flare over in here, over in here, depending on where the defenses are. And then having your troops, your bombers kind of spread out from there. Now, it's tricky to do, and you can screw it up. I've definitely screwed it up lots where uh, my troops just totally fizzle on me. But um, when you get it to work, you can get a really good time. And it's definitely a lot better than going all the way right and then going all the way left. And it's faster than delay dropping too. So um, here's an example of the flare. And you can see at this point, I lost all my warriors. So I actually made a mistake there. I shouldn't have thrown 4-4 four, four out. I should have delayed them a little bit better. Um, and then from there, just let them kind of spread out and do their own thing. So with the max barrage, it takes four barrage to take down an engine room. Um, so we're able to take that one out at the back pretty quickly. And then from there, we're just, uh, you know, using the extra one on, uh, on the engine rooms that we need to take down, uh, at that point. So that's the attack, that's the base. And, you know, depending on the path that you've taken, uh, a lot of guys have gone back and got Kavan at this point, and Kavan is really strong right now too. Definitely a viable option. Um, I don't want to say that the way I'm going is totally absolute best, um, but it's working for me right now. And I think if you're on a similar path, then what we want to do is want to get the troop damage, and we might even want to go to five engine rooms before we start to backfill. Um, you know, as we're rushing kind of forward here, that might make sense because on the way we're going to pick up uh, DBD. Troop damage, a um, couple more sniper towers, and yeah. I don't know if I'm going to get rocket choppers, but uh, yeah, we'll see. You know, we, we got the boom cannons, and then once we get this multi-node, we're going to get even more boom cannons. So I think we'll be able to defend against them well enough. Um, and there's a doom cannon back here, so rocket choppers are going to be tough to use. They've got some stuff too. They've got some tools, same as the warriors. I think a lot of the warrior guys that picked up the stuff to get to... Um, to rank up quickly with the warriors are going to go back and get those boom cannons but um yeah there it is so let's uh let's keep it going let's keep it going let's uh let's do a couple hits here and see if we can uh see if we can get up and uh and forward a little bit more 
So yeah, it's all about uh, it's all about the base where the where the mines are. That's where you got to be really careful of, um, and you just have to kind of plan out your where your warriors are going to run. Um, this is something I've been you know struggling a little bit with over the last few uh, last few hits because it's tough. You know, it's tough. Sometimes you think they're going one way, then they alter, and then it's um, then it's too late to to change that pathing. So um, yeah, all right, let's find a match here. But yeah, let, you guys let me know in the comments. Uh, I know the season got off to a rough start, but I feel like, you know, there, there is some good things about it too. So um, let me know in the comments how you, how you guys are making on uh, the season. All right, so for this one, this one we're definitely going to want to do that flare. Um, we're going to want to do that flare again. So let's go one, one, two, three, four. We're going to delay the warriors just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to throw them out kind of like that. I want them to take out those mines if we can. Um, okay, then we'll let them take out that cannon. We're going to flare them right about here. And the idea is that they're going to go down on the left and go down on the right, bypass all of the mines, or most of them. I just need some of those bombers to split. Some of them got to turn backwards. Some of them got to turn backwards. It doesn't look like any of them are. Uh, so when this happens, you know, we got to just go with it, unfortunately. Let's take out this uh, engine room over here. And yeah. Oh, we did get one to turn. We did get one to turn. It's not totally hopeless. But let's see, we're at three minutes now. And okay, okay, okay. He might take out some mines for us. We gotta get these guys marching backwards. They're marching ahead and they're marching backwards onto this last engine room. Let's go ahead and uh, use our last barrage there. It's going to be close, guys. It's going to be close. 245, 245 wouldn't be bad. 244, let's see. In terms of times, it's kind of all over the place right now. Let's see what this guy's doing. 250. Oh, no, 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 no. One more second, one more second. I think we got him. Yes, let's go. There it is. 242. In terms of times... I, I don't know. You want to be 235 plus for sure. Um, if you're right in that 240 mark, right around now, then uh, then you're definitely doing okay. So that was a close one. That was we only got eight stars. That kind of sucks. Um, but that brings us up to 19 and 10, and that's going to put us ooh number nine in Canada. But more importantly, did we crack the top 200? Yeah, we did. Wow, 188. That's awesome. So, pretty happy with that. And, well, I guess we got nothing to lose, so let's do another one. We are streaking, so. You know, when things are working, you gotta push it while it's hot, right? Rank 20 might be in the cards right now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know the guys that got up to Diamond, they were able to get, um, I think it was because they got the troop damage earlier, like uh, yesterday. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's not gonna be in the cards for us. Warships is funny as you get, uh, you know, as you get closer to the top like hundred and top fifty, it gets like extremely competitive, and the matchmaking gets super weird. And um, yeah, I don't know if we'll ever get there. I'll try to. We'll try to. But all right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. A three ER. What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? All right. Um, ba -da 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 -da. I'm going to show you what I like to do on these ones. I faced another guy like this before. And funny enough, here's how we were able to take him down. Because um, those guys are going to be fine over there. And watch this. This guy's engine room's right here. We can actually take both of them down at the same time. It's going to get a little bit weird with that... Um, uh, just the way the, 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 the engine rooms are mounted, but... This should be an auto... Like, unless this guy's got a crazy warrior hit lined up for us, I don't see how we can lose this one. Okay, there we go. Take it down, take it down, take it down, take it down! Boom! 311. So, I don't know. I, I think we're safe. Let's see. Let's see what Donkey Monkey's got up his sleeve. Boom! There it is, guys. So there's another win. 
crushing it, man. Crushing it. We might have to keep going here and, and try to get to, uh... Try to get to rank 20. That might be possible, but... Uh, super happy with that. It's nice when the, you know, when the, when the plan comes into... When the plan comes into action, <clears throat> you know? Because all of this season, I've said the same thing, that... Yeah, getting heavies right off the bat, that, that that's good, easy wins. But, look at the long term. Look at between four, five ERs and, uh, and above that. That's what we want to plan for. You don't want to just go rush everything out of the gate, unlock everything, and then go crazy. Um, when we play Warships, we want to, you know, have a plan, have a tech path. That's what I always try to do with you guys, is have a tech path that's going to pay off for the entire season. Because it's not about what position you're in today. It's about what position you finish in. So, hope that helps you guys out. And I hope you enjoyed the video. But, uh, yeah, man. Pretty awesome. Did we get top 150 with that? 153. Right around Falcor. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. And, uh, yeah, make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch the next one, guys. Check it out. Back, back.